Hi everyone, it's Brittany from Brittany Loves Reading and I am coming at you with my November TBR. Last month was a very busy month with readathons, so this month I'm only doing two. I am doing the Knock It Out November readathon hosted by Covers with Cassidy and also Once Upon a Readathon, which is hosted by Hannah Blackwell. And I'm excited for both of these readathons. I'm doing some fun things with each of them, and that will be reflected in my TBR. I also have a few themed videos that I want to get out to everyone this month. So those are also in here, as well as a few book club books. So as much as two readathons doesn't sound like it makes a large TBR, I've ended up with like 15 books. How has that happened? I don't know. But we are just going to dive right in. I'll tell you what I am reading for the month of November, or at least the plan. The plan is always open for change. And you'll see what my November plan is. If you watched a video that I put out last week, it was my November goals for Knock It Out November, and I let you vote for what I would be reading for the month of November. I gave five options, and the top two were the winners, and the two goals that one are binge a series, and for that one, I will be finishing out what is currently released in Game of Thrones. The fact that I have both of these on my TBR and not including all the other books is very daunting, but I am excited to finish this series. I started it last year, loved it, adored the three books that I read. So I really do want to read all that is currently released. I don't know if George R. R. Martin will ever finish this series, but I do want to read what is currently available. So I'll be reading A Feast of Crows, and also A Dance with Dragons. I'm not gonna tell you the synopsis of Game of Thrones other than that it follows multiple warring families as they try to become kings of this realm. The other goal that won for Knock It Out November was to read an indie book and I will be reading The Portal Painters, which is part of the Star Trail trilogy by H.A. Stefan. The only the first two books are out in this trilogy this is a local author to me. I actually go to the coffee shop that she owns all the time, and I'm very excited to finally start her series. This is a portal fantasy series that follows Sarah Carlson, who is an ordinary teenager, except that she can see what others can't. She finds a key that helps unlock other worlds, and Sarah somehow can jump realms through portal paintings. At least that's what I'm getting from the synopsis. I will hopefully know more as I read it. It's small. I'm glad that it's small since the other winning one was not small. So that is my Knock It Out November goals and all of them are going on my TBR. Well, let's not stop there with the chunky books. I have been participating in the Twilight Read Along hosted by Sarah Shelves and a ton of other booktubers. And for the month of November, we are up to Breaking Dawn. Again, I'm not gonna go into the synopsis of Twilight because I think everybody knows it, but this is the last book in the original Twilight series before you get to Midnight Sun, which we're doing in December. This is like 700 pages. Yeah, it's just over 700 pages. So I've got some chunky books to read this month. Send help. The next book I have is also a book club book. It is for the book club that I run with Kelsey from Reads with Kelsey over on Instagram. All the info for the book club if you wanna join us and to check out Kelsey is down in the description box. Our November book club pick is The End of Her by Sherry Lapina. I just recently did an author spotlight of Sherry Lapina and was very excited about the books that I read. So I'm very excited to read another one. This follows Stephanie and Patrick. They recently just had baby twins who are colicky and they're struggling through that newborn stage times two with no sleep. Then all of a sudden a woman, Erica, shows up from Patrick's past and says that he was somehow involved in the death of his wife, who Stephanie thought died from an accident. Did she? We don't know. 
And that's all I know about this book. I'm excited to read it as part of our book club. And again, if you wanna read this with us, all of the info is down in the description. So after all of the spooky books of October, I did want to have something a little bit lighter on my TBR. And so I've added The Wedding Date by Jasmine Guillory. This is a fake dating romance that follows Drew and Alexa who meet in an elevator and he needs a plus one to a wedding. So they decide to fake date. This is the first book in quite a long series and I do plan to do a binge series with this series. I'm not going to do it all in one month. I'm gonna spread it out in a couple of months. So the only ones I plan to read this month are The Wedding Date and the second book in the series, which is The Proposal. So both of them are on my TBR. The Proposal follows Nicole. She is at a baseball game when her five month boyfriend decides to propose in front of all of Dodger Stadium. She says no and thankfully has the help of Carlos, who is also at the game, to help get her away from all the disappointed Dodger fans at the game. That's all I know about these, but I'm excited to read both of them. I've been wanting to add a bit more true crime to my TBR lately, and so I've decided to add Dean Jobs' The Case of the Murderous Dr. Cream. This is before H.H. Holmes and before Jack the Ripper, the world's deadliest serial killer was the Canadian doctor, Thomas Neal Cream. I've been wanting to read this for a while, so I'm excited to get on this. That's all I know about it is that it's true crime. It's about a serial killer. The next book on my TBR is a kind of a classic, but not really. I recently read, reread the entire Hunger Games trilogy with Pris Peruse's Patreon a couple of months back. I have yet to read The Ballad of Songbird and Snakes. This came out not that long ago, but I read the trilogy a long, long time ago. So I wanted to read this. I've heard not the best things about it, but I still feel like I need to read it. But I was waiting until I had reread the trilogy because it had been a long time. So since I reread the trilogy only a couple months ago, it's time to knock this out and kind of put an end to Hunger Games, at least unless she puts out more books. So this is the prequel to the Hunger Games series. I'm pretty sure it's kind of like the villain origin story for President Snow, I think. So this one is going on my TBR. Again, I'm apparently decided to pick up every chunky book I own. The next book on my TBR, I actually got from a blind date with a book from my local bookstore not that long ago, maybe about a month, a month and a half ago. I had never heard of this book until I got it there, but it actually sounded really interesting when I unwrapped it. So it's going on my TBR and it is Three Dark Crowns. It is the first in a series by Kendar Blake. It follows three sisters. They are triplets and each one of them has their own power. One is an elemental, one is a naturalist, and one is a poisoner. And they have to fight, I believe, to the death. Yeah. They have to fight to the death to see who will actually be the queen of this realm. I believe there's four books in this series, so if I like it, I will continue. We'll see. Okay, the last stack of books that I have is all fairy tale retellings or fairy tales. The reason being is I'm doing Once Upon a Readathon, again, hosted by Hannah Blackwell. Check it out. It's all based on fairy tales. You don't have to read fairy tales for the readathon. I just wanted to be extra. Plus, retellings are probably my favorite genre of fantasy. So, I just had to when she announced this readathon, I was like, this is this is my readathon and I want to do all fantasy retellings. And that's what I'm doing. So the first book I'm doing is actually not a retelling. It is just a collection of classic fairy tales called Once Upon a Time. I got this not that long ago from a little free library and I just wanna read some of the classic fairy tales. I haven't read some of them in a long time and some of them in here I've never read, so I'm excited to read this. The next book that I'm going to be reading is Ruby Red by Kirsten Gear. This is a retelling of <laughs> Ruby Red. And this is actually translated from Hungarian or Bulgarian. Can't remember which one now, but it's one or the other. 
I've ended up with the whole trilogy and I am excited to read the whole trilogy, but this month I'm only going to read the first one. I think unless I really love it and want to binge the whole thing. This next book you have seen, it was in my October TBR. I didn't have time to read it and it is a retelling, so I decided to move it over into Hannah's readathon and that is Horsemen by Christina Henry. This is a Sleepy Hollow retelling and it is a horror retelling, which is a little bit different from the other retellings that I have, which are more, you know, princess, prince, but retellings. But most of the time it's more modern. This is, like I said, a horror retelling. Everyone knows of the legend of the horseman in the town of Sleepy Hollow, but no one believes that it's true. And then 14 year old Ben finds a headless body of a child in the woods. And all of a sudden, Ben starts to wonder if the adults have been lying to him and has the horseman been real the entire time. Okay, so I'm not sure if this is really a fairy tale, but it's a classic for sure. And it is probably my favorite children's story if I was to read the original, and that's The Wizard of Oz. So I am going to be starting Dorothy Must Die by Daniel Page. Considering I love The Wizard of Oz, I love the 14 book series by Frank L.L. Baum. I just love it. I'm very excited to dive into this. This kind of twists Oz on its head and makes Dorothy the villain. And I think that's going to be such an interesting take on Oz. So Dorothy has come back to Oz. She has gotten in power and it has gone to her head. And now she is evil and we needed a hero and our hero in this book is Amy Gunn and she is the other girl from Kansas and it is a Wizard of Oz retelling as I've said it is I think a four book series plus novellas and I am planning on just reading the first one but again if I really like this I may pick up the other ones really really soon okay we've made it to the last book of my TBR why is my TBR so big? It's okay. I can do it. I'm excited about all of these books, so it would be hard for me to cut any as it is. And the last one is, again, the first book in a retelling fantasy series, and it is The Shadow Queen by C.J. Redwine. I actually don't own this. I got it from the library, but I do own the second book in the series. Don't know how that happened. So I needed to read the first one so that I could read the one that I own. This is a Snow White retelling, if you can't tell from the cover. Our heroine is Lorelai. She is the crown princess and is a fugitive from the person who is trying to kill her, which is the queen of this realm. Queen Arena has taken Ravenspire's throne and has exiled the princess. She is on the run. She is a fugitive. You know, the story of Snow White. You, you, you know, the only way to defeat Queen Arena is the only thing that these two characters have in common, and that is magic. So I just counted, that's my 15 book TBR, and some of them are like 700 or 1,000 pages. Will I do this all? Probably not, but it's the goal and we'll see what happens. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.